family of a young woman killed in Miami County believes her death was accidental. We told you about the shooting, which happened yesterday afternoon near the Grissom Air Force Base. Now, Fox 59's Max Lewis explains why the man who shot Hannah Cox is still facing charges. Police were called out to this stretch of Capehart Street around 3.30 yesterday afternoon. They found 18-year-old Hannah Cox had been shot inside a car, and despite the best efforts of neighbors and first responders, she was pronounced dead here on scene. Indiana State Police say Hannah was sitting in a car and talking with her boyfriend, 18-year-old Jeremiah Smith. At some point, he pulled out a gun to show to her. Mr. Smith displayed a handgun believing himself that the gun was empty, pointed in the direction of Hannah. But the gun was still loaded, and police say Jeremiah pulled the trigger and shot her. We kept telling her, come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. Hang in there, and she just, she couldn't. Neighbors, including Scott Coy, heard the shot, then screaming and rushed to help. But he says there was little they could do. Two kids that had everything to look forward to, their life came to an end. When police arrived on scene, they found Jeremiah in his home nearby. He was arrested and is facing preliminary charges of involuntary manslaughter and reckless homicide. Someone, uh, for lack of a better term, playing with a firearm, uh, pointing it at an individual and killing him, whether that was intentional or not, uh, it's not just a tragedy, it's a crime in the state of Indiana. Sergeant Tony Slocum with the Indiana State Police said Hannah's death has impacted so many, including investigators, and what makes it worse was that it didn't have to happen. This is another example of the many we have uh, throughout our nation of, of someone believing a gun was empty, pointing it, and now we've lost another life unnecessarily. Hannah's mother didn't want to speak to us on camera today, but told us her daughter was a loving, caring, free spirit, and she will be greatly missed. McConaughey High School, where Hannah was a student, had counselors available today for people to speak with. Indiana State Police says this investigation is still ongoing, and anyone with any information is urged to give them a call. In Miami County, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59 News.